Alright, in this video, I'm going to be showing you Windows 8 on a touch screen, along with some of its features. As you can see, I just drew the picture lock screen as a password to open my Windows account. So here I'm using the Google app to search up rating and uh, find our blog, which now I'm going to dock this over to the side and try to open another app. So now when I click here, it's going to bring us back to the start menu. From here we can uh, have all your icons and tiles, which is all your programs. I'm going to select the piano just to show you uh, the multiple finger input touch works. To close this, I'm going to drag from the top of the screen and swipe towards the bottom. Now, I'm going to open up Netflix, and you can see the, the Google Search app is still pinned to the side while Netflix is loading. Alright, so Netflix is all loaded up. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do, conduct a search through the, through the Windows operating system. So basically you can type from anywhere on the start menu and it'll enter it into the text box. Then you click where you would like to conduct that search. As you can see, I had clicked store. And that's just uh, some of the store apps. Now I'm going to open up an app you're probably familiar with, the Facebook app, which the way it loads, it loads just similar to how it would on a tablet or a phone, but functions the same way on your desktop. I'm going to try to dock this to the other side. Nope, unfortunately that's not going to work. Scrolling through swipe from the left side of the screen to switch back and forth between apps. Again, you close them by pulling down from the top of the screen and swiping towards the bottom. Some of the advantages of having a touchscreen monitor are the fact that you can multitask much more efficiently because you can use both of your hands as the mouse instead of just having the mouse. I'm going to do a small example of this in a game called StarCraft. I'm going to just select the units on screen by clicking and dragging. You just click, tell them where to go. You can see it's much easier to navigate around the screen being able to directly touch what you need to click. In a second I'm going to show you how different it is from using the touch screen to using a mouse. So you can see how I was quickly moving the units back and forth with just my hands, both hands, gesture motions. Now you can see when I'm using the mouse you have to go back and forth repeatedly. It takes much longer. 